Hello everybody, it's Several Soul 4 for another episode of Golden Sun Dark Dawn. In the last episode, everybody died! Everything went wrong. Um, we did get ourselves a boat though, and then we promptly did really bad at driving it, because the world apparently is ending, and we wound up by Harun Village. So, we explored it uh, just in terms of looting the place, we didn't even bother talking to people, but now we're actually going to talk to people. Uh, I like the fact that the game decided it was a good idea to just empty out our synergy presets for some reason. Um, but let's get ourselves some spirit sense over there. And we don't really need track. Uh, uh. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I was thinking about this between recordings. I'm gonna give the crushed tusk to someone who probably is worthy of using it. I'm a mean person, but I'm very spiteful against Tyrell. I don't know, he's just- he caused the problems. He's the reason why the game happened in the first place. But anyway, let's talk to the people. The monsters showed up at the shadows. They never stopped following you. Yeah, so if you remember, the there was a giant eclipse that happened because of Luna Tower. And uh, monsters just appeared wherever there was an eclipse. And this island is like half in the eclipse, which kind of sucks. Uh, also, just a reminder, we got the six hidden treasures here. There's also six encyclopedia entries, and this could be a gin that we're going to find here. Hopefully you guys remembered to uh, take care of the point of no return that we uh, ran into. It is the last point of no return that we will encounter, aside from, like, you know, the end game where we fight the final boss. Um, but, yeah, so we don't really have to worry about that for a little while, but it still sucks that the game keeps doing this to us. Yeah, we helped out some mainlanders. That's what you do when people are in trouble. We don't need praise. I heard someone crying and I was about to head out to help when my friend stopped me. I'm lucky he did. You see monsters in the shadows? I see them, but it might be my mind going. I'm afraid all the time now. Yeah, I know what the hell that feels. The ship crashed on a rock and all those beastmen came asking for our help. I have to say, they scared me. At first it looked like more monsters erupting out of the shadows. Yeah, I mean, if you're not used to it, I can understand. It's funny, there are always been monsters here, but they seem more natural than these demons. The monsters never bothered me. I'm shivering just thinking about those horrible things. Yeah, something a bit unnatural about these guys. Barely skipped the mainland at a gun festival in Belinsk and never would have made it. Never this festival, the folks who made my merchandise to celebrate sell working, so just join the festival with them and have fun. This time no one's working, it's no fun. I'm not gonna mind read everybody, um, or at least I'm not gonna read through the mind read of everybody because it's just gonna take a while. Would you like to know more about the myths of Morgal? Sure, why not? You can hear folk tales and such of the townspeople all around the region. If you're looking for history books, there aren't any, not even in Belinsk. Thanks. You're helpful. Let me remind you of a ch child story. A sky spirit who shone light on the world, but sealed in a cave. Is that a hint to like a summon or something? Some beast men only escaped whatever happened on the mainland because they were here. Frightening. That stinks. Yeah, a lot of people died in the last episode because of the uh... Light of the sun, black dead monsters, and shadows scream refugees everywhere. The image of the moment will be with me for the rest of my days. Um, I don't know, the game t tells it talks about it at some point, but it's called the Grave Eclipse. Um, or the Grave Eclipse, I don't know, it's grave is in dire, or grave is in lots of people died so you got graves, but yeah, I'm gonna be calling it that just for ease of reference. It's a moral include a story about the sun and a black star that defeats it. Apparently the sun hides its face in shame, but that's all I can remember. I'll have to ask Econ the storyteller. Econ the storyteller. Econ, this storyteller is a historian of Harun Village. He is distracted by worry since his son and grandson disappeared. Oh, that's thanks. I've heard all of Econ's stories a thousand times. I'm just no good at telling them myself. He knows his craft. Don't tell anyone at the cave on the northwest part of the islands where we played were when we're bored. Hint, 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 hint. The storyteller told us about the secret paths all over the island. Hey, a rock. Let's use Crush on it! Alright, we have Thermal. I keep forgetting that Thermal there. Oh. You know what? Um, hmm. I'm gonna switch... 
I'm gonna hate myself for doing this. I'm gonna switch Eolio with Amity just for a little bit. And I really mean it, just for a little bit, because uh, I think that we can have some fun with him as a character here. Uh, what would you lose? Fiery Blast. You get... Uh, you know what? I'll keep you as a brood. Is there anything better I can make you? An Enchanter? Ew. Can I just give you an extra Ginny here? Make you a Defender. That's gonna give you Ply and a Vo- Eh, sure, why not? Um, yeah, I'm gonna hate myself for doing that because, uh, you know, it's Amity, but... I don't know, uh, I think Eolio deserves to be used at least a little bit, even if, eh, <laughs> even if, eh. Uh, let's see, so we gotta use Crush over here again. Also, you know, moving him up in the party makes it easier to get to Crush. <laughs> I don't hate him as much as Tyrell, and that's the important thing. Let's go through this convoluted puzzle here. That didn't help. Did I screw it up? Maybe. Yeah, I, I didn't need to push that back up. <laughs> uh... Hmm. You get that at- oh, I just pushed this. No? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Stupid, stupid. Okay, hi. Babwa? Yes, you say Babwa. Prince Ali, fabulous, he's old in the Babwa. Spring has joined you, said to Dobie Jr. Spring, this helpful spirit represents the water that bubbles from springs and is found in Harun Village. The spring's water is supernaturally refreshing. This hopeful spirit. We need hope right now. Also, God, the, we have way too many of these guys. But then again, we're going to be to the point of the game where we just have way too many gin, or, ginny in general. Too many gin, too many gin. Too many gin, too many gin. We really need more fire gin game, though. Like, we... I guess I gave them all to Dovey. Let's see what happens if I give him the full set. You become a hull reaver. Oh, that's... Fish's chop. Ooh, that sounds great. You know what? I'm gonna do that for a little while. It's gonna nerf Dovey a bit, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Actually, can I give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? No, I can't have nine yet. Yeah, we'll we'll try them out like there, like that, like that. Not that I expect to be getting into many battles today, but you know, just for the future. What's up? I'm the village storyteller, but since my son and little grandson Cabo went missing, I've been too worried to tell my stories. Cabo, this boy has been missing since the eclipse. Oops. Every time I try to tell a story, I just wonder what happened to my son and grandson. My husband has not come home, but I refuse to grieve. Nothing is certain. Yet. Sweet dumplings. is just one of the hundreds of delectable uses of seaweed dumplings. I'm sorry, one of the hundreds of delectable uses of seaweed. I had pieces of the darkness to find protection in the shadow. The last of these eyes lies on Warrior Hill. What was the first part? When a shadow falls over the world, it will herald the times of darkness. Only a power of light can end it. Ah, okay. Um, what's this? Does this mean anything? Answer, no. <laughs> Let's keep talking to people, though. Have you met the old man who lives next door? He's a storyteller. He knows all about the old days. Current brings driftwood to broken ships here. After a storm, it can take a long time to clean it all up. Don't leave me driftwood on the shore. This vegetable slaw is made mostly of finely chopped seaweed. This sesame really brings out the flavors. The only thing that washes up the driftwood from destroyed ships was become of all the sailors. Shark food! Excuse me, game? I love, I love the old storyteller. He tells us stuff he won't tell the grown-ups. Okay, so we're gonna organize a militia and take over the government. It's so cold because the Luna is somehow canceling out salt. You could just say sun and the moon. You don't have to be pretentious like that. 
It's freezing cold here, we still got sunshine. What must it be like on the mainland? Yeah, seriously, man. Can I remind read you? Please, gods of my people, protect us from this crisis. A crisis core? Hmm? The fishermen who travel westward have not returned and we're getting worried. Come on. They left the island head west because they didn't know to be afraid of the shadows yet. Ugh. Yeah. This is not a happy part of the game, folks. It's just a horrible thing that's happening all over. I just want life to be normal again. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. Sailors say monsters look in the shadows and you keep away from the dark. Seafood salad is piled high with seaweed. Chewy yet delicate. Slimy yet satisfying. Yeah, seafood soup. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can find something better for, uh... Uh, Eolio. Eolio! A dumb name. Who names that kid Eolio? Ooh, a, uh... This is cursed, but... I don't like the curses in this game, because they can, like, they can hurt you, they can stop you from moving, they, it sucks. And I don't know if you get the cleric's ring, like, in previous games, so... It's bad. Also, it's not that much better than the Assassin Blade, and that makes me sad. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Jeweled Crown is new? Yes, it is. Boosts luck. Ooh, that is going to my little darling over here. Uh, we don't need this. Well, you don't... Eh, fine, you'll get the safety boosts. Since that's just a defensive boost for you. Got plenty of money. You never give me your money. You only, only give me. Wow, three. Oh, yeah, because we haven't been getting them for a while. You only give me your funny papers. In the middle of the negotiations, of breakdown. Do, 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 do. I never give you my pillow. I really should use some of these items. Also, it would be really nice if we can, you know, like, get the forge or something. Alright, we got the blue orb so we can summon, uh... What's his face? Uh... Kyogre. Uh, is this... Well, let's see if either of these are good for Eolio. I don't, I don't remember if I checked or not. Definitely don't need that anymore. Why didn't I check that? I don't know. Was was I just not paying attention? Yeah, that's definitely better for you. I, I thought so. Oh, I'm... <coughs> I'm sorry? A Yolio can't equip swords? Literally just Dovi and Tyrell can equip large swords? What? Two out of this I'm excuse me. I I'm Dumbfounded by this. Yeah, longsword. Why can't Yolio equip longswords? The heck? Yolio, what the hell is wrong with you? I'm um, excuse me for like getting angry at this, but like, no way, game. There's no way that you made Yolio into a light character. He looks like a gladiator! He can wear heavy armor! He's- he's also older than us! Like... And he's a pirate! I'm... kind of legitimately upset right now. You gave him, like, some of the more powerful physical synergies in the game. I mean, it's, you know, still synergy, but like... Ugh. Morgul needs warm weather sooner, there's gonna be a famine. 
Eastern sea filled with ice are gonna have trouble fishing gathering seaweed. Yeah, let's stay here because I've been using up so much stuff. This, this is ridiculous. Let's, you know what, let's, let's just, let's get out of here. I think we've talked to everyone that we really need to talk to, but if you couldn't get the hint, um, we need to go try to find the family of, of the storyteller, because that's going to be important for that tower over there. War gold. What do you have? Crush Vicious Chop. Let's try that. We're not going to make it there because he's going to die before that, but still. We will get to it. What garbage is this, though? But yeah, as you can see, the Harden Channel is slightly in the in the uh, eclipse, and that's not good. Uh, anyway, the Harun Channel has two chests, encyclopedia entry, and that's about it. It's pretty. It's pretty bare. Let's go down here. There's a chest over there. We can't get to from here. Guess we're gonna have to go around. Nope, oh, there's people there. Too bad we can't get to them. Oh well. Rules of playground: no hitting the seesaw. Someone could get hurt. Let's move this. Obviously, we're going to be using the seesaw, so the first thing we need to do is cover up the sign so that nobody knows. Also, I'm pretty sure what we have to do here... This is, this is just not safe. <laughs> it's kind of fun, but it's not safe. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can use it on this side. we get a lucky cap. Lucky cap is one of the items I really liked in the previous games. Uh, Bruce Criticals. So yeah, let's see. Who would that go well with? You don't have a helmet. You just straight up don't have a helmet. You poor child, I'm sorry. Um, I was gonna give it to Karis, but no, he doesn't, he doesn't have a helmet. Uh, also, there are no hidden items here, so you don't need to look for it, thankfully. That's not Crush. And... It's a nice little animation. I, I, I do like that, so... Give it... Give that to you, game. I'll give that to you. There should be monsters here, because we're in the area, the bad area. Um, <laughs> Does this lead anywhere? Yet? Looks like we have to come around from the other side for that, right? I think so. We'll be coming back here. Boom. First things first thing we need to do though is, is just getting getting over to the uh, people over there. That is why we're here. It's totally not to get to the doorway to get to that treasure chest outside. Nope. Also there were no monsters in here. Ah! Where are you guys? Ow. We might ask you the same thing. Relax, Kaba. I think these people are right. Or at least not monsters. You speak for yourself. Kaba? I feel I've heard that name. Maybe back in Harun, Harun Village. Harun Village, this small village on Harun Island, is home to some ancient ruins with a legacy of traditions. It is famous for the local seaweed. 
A yes from Ikan, the storyteller. That's my grandpa. And my father. And my axe. Sorry. You must love fishing to go under these conditions. You are fortunate that we can help you. Fortunate? Fortunate doesn't break. <laughs> fortunate people don't break their legs. Wow. Wow. I'm glad you're here with that's leg broken. I don't know what to do. I'm not sure they can help us, son. I don't see a stretch or anything. There's literally eight of us. We can carry you. I'm pretty sure we can carry you. <laughs> oh, we don't need a stretcher. You're gonna walk out of here on your own. I know it sounds crazy, but just relax and let us work. Just need to get a saw while I amputate your leg. Reef, it doesn't work. This is a cutscene. You can't heal people in cutscenes. Do you see that, Dad? When he was doing that, he filled you up with light. And then put the light in you. I filled up with light and put the light in you. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, my leg doesn't hurt anymore. Let's see if I can stand up. You did it! It's like I was never hurt. I can even jump on it! A minute ago, you couldn't move it at all. Who are you? Hey, no need to get defensive. I'm just curious. If you need to keep your secrets, it's fine. But thank you. If you ever visit Harrow Village, stop by our house. We don't have much, but you're always welcome. Hey, I was gonna say that. Ask for Econ the Storyteller. Anyone in the house can point. To, anyone there can, in town can point you to our house. Time to get home, son. Your mom's there must be worried. I'll raise you. I like that he had a little faster animation there. Cute kid. That was very well done, Reef. You had a use for once. Thanks, but it was nothing. These are the kind of detours I like. <laughs> Probably time to move on, though. Yeah, we actually helped somebody for once, guys. Crazy. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure how we were able to help someone through a cutscene, though, because we know from Final Fantasy VII that that doesn't work. Anyway, we get the Muramasa, which is another cursed weapon, which means I'm not going to use it, but I like it. Look, it has demon fire. Can you use that? No, you can't, because you suck. I'm, I'm actually, like, really angry. Like, why did they only give two of the characters the ability to use heavy weapons? Um, also, yeah, we got the Dark Scuttlers here, like, before. Let's just give you regular attacks for now. Um, it's, it's just, it's a weird decision, you know? In Lost Age, we had Dovi, Garrett, Felix, and Piers who could all use these weapons. Uh, obviously, Dovi and Felix could use specific other weapons, I think. I'm pretty sure Piers could use long swords. There was at least three characters, though. Here, it's two. Spoilers, we're going to have an 8th character. <laughs> uh, 2 out of 8, which is really weird, because everyone else, like, there's there's a whole bunch of bow users. Sveta can't do anything except for her fists. I guess it's forcing you to, to mix it up a little bit, but then it keeps giving you the same types of weaponry, and it's like, what do you want me to do? Just have everybody using maces? It's a very, very odd decision. What's up? Should see my brother's face when I walked into the house. She was so surprised. I knew something had happened in the mainland. I didn't think it would reach us here. I was a fool. When I first stepped on the beach, the sea was quiet. Then, a storm? Lucky you came along. Ah, it's the words. Say my son, grandson. Thank you most humbly. I understand that you have also used a strange power to mend my son's bones. May I see this power? All right. Thank you, it's much appreciated. Can you move a physical object so I can see the power work? Luckily, there's a physical object that we can move right in your very home. At this time of year, at this time of day, localized entirely within your kitchen. That power, how? That's the light I saw. That's it, that light get some of my dad's leg better. And Kaba told me about this eel that I thought it should them. It turns out it was indeed. Wait, this kid can see synergy? 
It's not just the kid, the old man sees it too. Synergy is a power of the mind. How can a non-adept see it with mere, eye mere eyes? So the light is synergy. You must be the ones then. The ones, whatever could you mean? The ones who would go to the Watchtower on Warrior's Hill. Warriors who wield the weapons that are not weapons. Ha la la, the Watchtower. Sorry. Watchtower, this legendary building sits atop Warrior's Hill on Haran Island waiting for worthy champions. Weapons that are not weapons. Yes, weapons of steel or wood. The warrior uses them to gather a warrior's hill. Stop sounding like me, old man. You stop sounding like me. I've got about 30 years on you. Oh, sorry. I understand. Warriors who can fight and defend without weapons or equipments. Adept, obviously. Is that from your ancestors' stories? The stories that have been handed down to you? They're not mere stories. These are part of a prophecy. A message from the past to the future. And what exactly does this message say? Uh, gallon of milk, loaf of bread, a dozen eggs. When the light of the Luna reaches the sunken tower, all falls into darkness. What begins in beauty ends in terror. Shun shadow, walk in light to escape eclipses blight. That certainly sounds like an accurate prophecy. This is no prophecy. Prophecies deal with the future, and this is our present, my friends. Well, it was a prophecy! Shut up, Kraden. You're trying to sound cool, but it was a prophecy because it was the future until it happened. The Tower in Belinsk was an ancient machine, but uh, it was a machine built by the ancients to advance their art of alchemy. It was powered by light, but it worked too well. They must have started up as we did, as we did, probably with similarly tragic results. But what did they hope to accomplish? Maybe they were trying to do something you can't do with synergy. Synergy. Of course, something beyond the four great elements of fire, water, earth, wind, and heart. Given the results, they, we can theorize that they were trying to manipulate the fundaments of darkness and light. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> The Janae once ruled all of Weyard as well as all four elements, but they craved yet more power. It's always the people that want more power. At that stage, if you seek more power, you're essentially grasps, grasping this at omnipotence, are you not? This is a good term for any absolute mastery all over all things. Is that even... They wanted to do that through synergy? The prophecy of the Watchtower also foretells that its champions will be quite clever. Exactly. Uh, stop flattering us. Alright, we'll need more information. What can you tell us about the tower itself? Nothing. I'm the village storyteller for an island you've probably never heard of before. What else do you want from me? Just having to stare down. Oh, <laughs> you have me there, sir. The game passing up an opportunity to talk to us and talk us to death? That's ridiculous. <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> it turns out too rich. My heart, my heart. Someone make it stop. Um, I like this old fellow, and I like you as well. EXCUSE ME! Uh, yes, we should, of course, get back to business. Right, if I don't tell you what the Watchtower Champions are meant to do, then I've failed completely. Then by all means, speak. Thank you. We don't know if the Watchtower appeared where it did because the Warriors had gathered there, or if the Warriors met because the Watchtower was there, but we do know that the Warriors Hill was where it happened. Why were these Warriors drawn to the Watchtower? What was their goal? To use this key. 
to shove him out of the way. You got the watch, Teriki. There was a treasure sleeping within the watchtower. Once found, the treasure would guide them on. <gasps> I'm lost. The treasure would guide them? How would it do that? How does a treasure sleep? I don't get it. I don't understand either, but clearly we need to get to Warrior's Hill and see what's inside the watchtower. Let's waste no more time! I see that you'll be the one to watch over the world. Yep, okay, cool. So, that's nice. Bye, everybody. Any more stuff for you to tell us? The darkness is the, the, the signaling its job as storytellers. I hope these are the ones. Okay, cool. I wonder what it's like to be so holy. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I see an America. Are you ready for a miracle? Alright, so I guess we're gonna head over to the watchtower. Uh which as far as I know, is something that we are going to be doing in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. This has been Several Total Four with Golden Sun. Um, I don't know, dark, dark helping people out for once. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.